Good morning. It's not such a great morning because it's raining. Snow's here, but it's not going to stay. The commitment level is high. Day number eight of the vlogs. Will we make it to our goal of 365? I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> Stay tuned for more. All right, set the scale for zero. Put two square bales in. I actually just put one. I'm guessing you thought I forgot the film dumping in the, the square bale into TMR, but I didn't. Freaking thing fell apart and they cut the strings. Yesterday it was frozen. It kind of held together before I dumped it in. But now as soon as I freaking cut the strings, it fell apart. That's why I don't like square bales. The reason why we have square bales now is because our baler broke when we were baling and we had to get my uncle. He's got a big uh, crone, big pack. Actually goes pretty good to load them. They're all little flakes. As you can see, the square bale is mixing very good. <laughs> but that mix, oh my god, it's going to fall all out. Anyways, we're gonna clean here. Take you a ride. Take you along if it's safe. pile of manure for the uh, couple of weeks already there by the end uh, by the beginning of the spring it's gonna be a pretty big pile all right so mix is ready to go still got a lot left over as you can see here haven't made a ration for them yet once you make a proper ration it'll be cleaned up clean every morning that's for the fall group they just got hay in front of them Tired of feeding it out there, so I fed it in here now. Just added some corn starch and some salt and mineral this time. I gotta keep remembering to do that. It's important to put salt and mineral. All right, it's the right length. You can see the screw down there? It's got knives on it. This happened. I don't know if you can see it, but the door just fell off. Great. Great content, Matt. Great content. Freak sakes. Well, now we gotta fix that. <sighs> Try and empty out the mixer so I can fix this properly. This door. We got way too much pressure on the door with all the feet in there, so we're gonna have to try and slowly take all the feet out of it. All right, so I managed to uh, feed with the door uh, like that. Let's go fix it now. <laughs> we'll finish chores, then we'll get to fixing it. It's gonna be a all day project. Fun. There you go guys, fed again.
The nice ones tend to come out first, so <laughs> take a look at them. Down here at the other farm, here's a little hay yard you got. A couple hundred bales here. Get some bedding here. This is where we brought the uh, the cows the other day. The ones that we uh, separated from the cows are down there. This guy is finally picking up on eating there. I gave them four bales yesterday and they didn't eat anything. But now they uh, now they cleaned up, so they're they're back to the normal. Uh, Appetite, I guess. The old Johnny makes a little bit of vibration noise when you're on the highway with it. I think we need new tires for the front. Damn bias tires. You're backing up, by the way. <laughs> you're not clickering at what I'm doing. This for the hydraulic. You can see them turning inside there. You see them stop, they go. But then the PTO runs the main part. It just flails, it just pulls it off. It's a sweet machine, I love it. Imagine doing this by hand. It's all frozen. You'd have to unroll everything and bitch and swear. Put the forks on the tractor here, so uh, I guess after lunch we'll uh, take a look at this. Freak sakes. It's just that the, this is where it sits into here. Just see can put my fingers in there. So it slides in there, right? And you think it's just bent a little bit. And uh, from all the weight, of the mix spinning and then you start opening it it's just enough to push it out of the track what we gotta do is we're gonna probably cut that that uh, bracket holding the cylinder smooth with the top there so we could slide the whole thing in from the top down and then once it's down we're gonna weld I think wider flat bar across it so that it can't come out again but so it can still slide but I mean, we got a plasma cutter so we should be able to cut that pretty clean pretty quick oh well that's how it is all right change of plan instead of fixing the TMR gotta deliver some firewood put three cords in the box if I can do that. <laughs> I claimed I could put three cords in, I can't. I did two and a half. Well, to that stick would be three. So. There's not even a full cord left, which is a bummer. If it had sides on it, frig, I could put three easy. It's not even heavy. All right, whatever we go. Up. Slow is unloaded. <laughs> Always looks like more than it is. Once you unstack it and everything, it looks like five quarts. <laughs> Not even two. 
Alright. Next load. Wood's all delivered. I'm paid. I'm happy. Let's go. Alright, you got it back in. You have to cut the top off and slide it in like I said before. You put these tabs on each side so it can't go from side to side. Because if it goes side to side it'll pop out. Alright guys, so it's pretty late and I'm calling it a day. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed all the, the action we had. Till tomorrow morning. Peace.